don't look. It only encourages him. I've never seen anybody with a firmer hold on stupidity. <laughs> Why do they settle here? Why don't they go and annoy Australia? <laughs> They'd never find Australia. <laughs> to think not. I bought all that perfume. <laughs> I like to think not, too. I spend a lot of time liking to think not. <laughs> well, it looks dead enough there. They say he's searching for something. I know the feeling. He needs the attentions of a good woman. A bad one might be quicker. <laughs> Back and you've gone. How do you do it? Have we got a secret passage? <laughs> so, don't disturb him. But it's peculiar. You think he's peculiar? <laughs> oh, come away, peeping in people's houses. Uh, suppose he needs help. Well, why should he need help? And if he did need help, do you think you'd be high on his wants list? I <laughs> always do what I can. For other people. I know. Why do you think I keep confiscating your bicycle? <laughs> Am I late? Is the show started? <laughs> do not disturb. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry if I'm disturbing you from looking in Cleggie's window. Not us, your muffin. We didn't hang it there. Cleggie must have put it there. I can't believe Cleggie's up to anything that requires a do not disturb sign. He's never been that athletic. <laughs> there is such a thing as second childhood. Shouldn't he have waited till he finished with the first? <laughs> I don't know why you're both looking at me. Don't lie. You do know why. Be fair, you can't expect him to admit it. That's one advantage of being a wife. Fair's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> Years in the vice squad have taught me that there are very few things worth peeping at. <laughs> That's one of them. <laughs> Not shaking your head. I dread being around when it starts to rattle. Oh, laundry's a depressing experience. I've never been faulted on my washing. It's not your technique, it's your taste. Have you got anything brighter? Have you nothing for lifting the spirits? I'm not here to lift your spirits. <laughs> this stuff's chosen for serviceability, not entertainment. You're not kidding. Talk about bleak midwinter. Have you nothing more springtime? Why don't you get off inside? I'm not standing here discussing washing with an unmarried male. We need to get a few pansies on that wall or something. We need a bit of colour around here. <laughs> Do you think we ought to break in? You're better at breaking out. <laughs> he could be lying there. You're the one who's usually lying. But only badly. <laughs> if he's had time to hang up a do not disturb sign, I regard that as evidence that he's not lying somewhere. Maybe he's planning to do away with himself. Who said that? Come on, who said that? 
<laughs> you can go on, starting rumours like that. Ah, oh, let him stay. Hey, old Plaggy, what's they doing that mustn't be disturbed? <laughs> well, whatever it was, it doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> I bet if we hadn't come in and done away with himself. You were right, truly. Send him home. Uh, yep. That picks on me cos I'm French. That's not French. I didn't know that, neither. I could be French. There's too much prejudice round here. You never did like Napoleon. <laughs> If I'm wrong, although do it carefully because nobody likes a clever dick. <laughs> but is he looking more miserable than usual? Um, yes. Yes, that's it, just yes. Are you going to enlarge on that? The chances are there'll be a simple explanation. Oh, it would have to be. He's not ready for complicated. <laughs> although, who would believe Smiler able to be more miserable than usual? He must keep a bit in reserve. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Correction. Quite a lot in reserve. <laughs> He's had a dear John letter. His lady friend's packed him in. He has a lady friend? Not anymore. <laughs> she found her glasses. You see? Simple explanation. How long have they been together? Since half past six last night. Oh, <laughs> as long as that. I could have said it wouldn't last. They met by arrangement. He was wearing his best suit, hair neatly combed, and a red rose so she'd recognise him. I'd leave man wearing red rose in hair. <laughs> buttonhole. You saw all this. You were there. He needs a minder for his love life. He won't go on a date unless I'm there. I have to feed him his chatting up lines. Example. What's a gorgeous thing like you doing all alone? Such stuff works. It works. The only problem was she moved. He said it to a chap with a ginger moustache. <laughs> ah, Smiler now engaged to chap with ginger moustache. <laughs> he gets a dear John letter from a chap with a ginger moustache. No, we didn't meet her till we changed pubs. Good morning. Good morning. Hermione. Just as well they finished. He'd have had terrible trouble trying to spell her. <laughs> What's this? A confession? <laughs> you should have said. I used to help people write these. If it's ours, we ought to be reading it. Oh, I'm sure I've nothing to confess. Aren't you afraid of being struck down by a bolt of lightning? <laughs> no. All I'm doing is transferring my old diaries into readable copy. It's fascinating, really, remembering what you were doing. What were you doing? Well, very little, really. <laughs> That's what makes this such a worthwhile record. I must be one of the very few who went through the 20th century and found it boring. You should have married the former Mrs Trulove. Of oh, the present Mrs You-Know-Who. <laughs> No, I've enjoyed being boring. It's very close to that state of spiritual tranquility that the wise men seek. My granddad spent his life seeking the recipe of the perfect treacle tart. <laughs> yeah, he married my grandma on the strength of a pastry. <laughs> Get the pastry right, he always said. Then you can play about with the fillings. <laughs> Did he get the perfect treacle tart? What he got was a good cook. Very ugly wife. <laughs> Which I always think shows a fine sense of priorities. Do other people appear in these diaries? Of course. A keen diarist is bound to notice his more scandalous neighbours. <laughs> Excuse me. How much detail is going into this? There are certain obligations to be as truthful as possible. <laughs> How much are you going to be mentioning about your neighbours? He'll have to mention everything if he's going to be truthful. How much everything? Oh, everything, everything. 
Especially the juicy bits. That's going to be famous, Howard. Why me? What business has he got talking about me? You're only in here and there, Howard. I've never been here and there. <laughs> You've no business suggesting I've been here and there. I hope Pearl never finds out about page 340. <laughs> He'll swear blind he was never near page 340. <laughs> Be careful, Barry. I'm in an office. I'm at a desk. If it gets rough, I promise I'll wear body armour. <laughs> Mr. Animal was in an office, but he set off an ear infection by poking it with a paper clip. We don't have to poke our ears with paper clips. It's optional. <laughs> Kiss me, Barry. There's nobody watching. You don't know that. The street's full of windows. If the milkman can kiss me, you're entitled to kiss me. <laughs> How long have you... Only when it's double cream. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Good luck, Barry. Show a bit of affection. It's too little in this dodgy world. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Mr Teasdale, where did you pop up from? Could be from anywhere, lad. Popping up is what I do for a living. When you're a repo man, you learn popping up, or you may as well retire. Going into town, are you? Yeah. You can give me a lift, lad. My car's in dock. Not to worry. I'll soon repossess another one. <laughs> <laughs> Good day, Jigglender. And to you, Mr. Teasdale. Don't worry. I'll keep him away from paper clips. <laughs> Alvin's in good voice. I thought so. <laughs> Gone quiet now, though. Ah, he's probably dead. <laughs> has been before. Yeah. I noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you the boss for Oddersfield? <laughs> How many can you see? Is this a trick question? Yeah. Why does they keep doing this, Alvin? Why? Hmm. A bloke has to keep young, active. You have to stay... army? Close. <laughs> if you want a medical opinion, this man is recovering nicely and he's now ready for a drink. You should listen to Billy. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> Time. Wise man makes time. Smiler needs to churn up. It could take a while. He's not easy. Work is easy when done for friends. Oh, I like that. It's what friends are for. <laughs> Who's going to stay behind in the truck and look after the furniture? Man already in truck might as well stay. Good thinking. <laughs> you might just as well be miserable out here. There's more room for it. Exactly. Hey, what about me? We're doing this for you. Cheering you up. You'll soon feel better. <laughs> Good morning. Park here, Barry. I think it's time I was at the office, Mr Teasdale. I should be late for poking me ear with paper clips. This won't take long, lad. Teasdale is known throughout the profession for the speed of his repossessions. Ah, there she is, waiting for us. A certain little silver VW. Oh, I bet this job's really quite exciting. Exciting? Well, we have to keep ourselves sharp. <laughs> we could train the SAS, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> what are these for? Opening car doors and starting certain little silver VWs. I can see that. What I can't see is why you're passing them to me. Because you just passed the test, lad. Keen eye, alert, responsible. I'll be watching you. I'll mess it up. I'm no good under tension. Rubbish. You're steady as a rock. <laughs> you just have a stroll over there, a quick look round, then in you go, foot down and away. I'm no good in strange cars. I never get past wipers. <laughs> if he wants his windscreen cleaning, I'm your man. <laughs> just put the key in the ignition. Ah, well, there you go. Have you seen me with keys? 
I could fumble for England. <laughs> but he knows me. He'll be on his guard if he sees me. And you want to know the secret? Don't loiter. Speed is of the essence. Now we'll give you that drink. Great. What's he doing sat out here, Smiler? I'm being cheered up. You seem to have missed a bit. A Hermione. He calls you Hermione. <laughs> never has before. Maybe it's the light. Maybe he's never seen you in this light before. Give over. I'm not that badly lit. I look like an Hermione. <laughs> Life, you see, you must never give up hope. Even at Billy's age, you can suddenly start being called Hermione. <laughs> Ask him if he knows a Phyllis. I feel comfy of being a Phyllis. I should think so. Look at the practice you've had. <laughs> He's nothing like Hermione. <laughs> we can't tell you how glad we are to hear that. So who's Hermione? She left me. How did you manage that? My missus never leaves me. <laughs> we have certain advantages if you're looking for somebody to leave. Maybe I'm irresistible. <laughs> Let's have a drink first and then you can be irresistible. You coming, Smiler? I've got to stay here and watch the furniture. Ah. Well, uh, there must be something we can do about that. Ah, a lamster. <laughs> Hermione. Don't start that again. If she looks like that, that's well read. It looks like your archetypal plainclothes policeman. With this figure on guard, your furniture's safe. You can come and have a drink. Who's paying? No wonder she left him. Alvin's paying because he's slightly concussed. Hey, only slightly, so don't go mad. Romance. I know the feeling. <laughs> I was wondering where you kept it. I've never been able to keep it. Oh, I could tell you stories of the unreliability of men. Oh, don't. I've been there. Did he offer you marriage? Something quite close. <laughs> you do have a romance section. Oh, yes, we do. On the shelves over here. With happy endings. Oh, yes. They make it look easy. Have you ever been married? Something quite close. Are you still hopeful? Not really. But the habit's hard to break. Well, have you ever thought of giving them up completely? Oh, well, I can do it with the ones I don't like. It's with the others it gets tricky. <laughs> Are you strong-willed? No, I'm afraid not. Me too. So, you see, there's always a bright side. <laughs> I can see you've suffered too. You've had your share of emergencies. Oh, yes. It wouldn't be worth all the trouble otherwise. It's not as secure as marriage, but it does have its excitements. Or it did once. Once? Well, more than once, if you count the firm's annual outing. I just wish they'd be more expressive. Now, your current significant other... What, does he lack fire? Poetry? Passion. He has a distinctive touch on the bicycle bell. <laughs> Are they all inside? <laughs> I might be like that. Alcohol therapy not working. It's a waste pouring any more down him. He's going straight to his own funny bone. Hermione! <laughs> what was she like, this Hermione? Oh, she was horrible. She could frighten for England. <laughs> Made for each other. She beat him at darts, dominoes and arm wrestling. 
properly trained by Nora Batty. <laughs> Good, strong women round here. Give big sense of security. Oh, they're great with enemies. It's when you're related by marriage it gets tricky. <laughs> Talking of marriage, did your granddad ever find the perfect treacle tart? He was hot on the trail. He was conducting a few experiments with a Mrs. Lazenby. Oh. But then my granny found out. <laughs> my ancestors invented treacle tart. I thought it was explosives. <laughs> exactly. Explosive treacle tart. <laughs> Change the face of warfare. Uh, that's a misery on your truck. Oh, there's a nickel. Oh. What's up with him? An affair of the heart. One minute they were arm wrestling, next minute, gone. I never even got a return match. <laughs> oh, they can be very painful affairs of the heart. You should try swinging through trees. Why would anyone want to swing through trees? Oh, well, didn't do Tarzan any harm. Wasn't he taller and a bit broader in the chest? I've only just started. <laughs> Who is that stranger on your truck? I didn't ask. Mother always said, never talk to strangers, especially whole fair week. We think he's watching. Watching? Somebody who's up to something. We think he's a human bloodhound on the trail of some shifty character. You can always tell a good private investigator. Hat pulled well down, scarf hiding his face. They can watch for hours without moving a muscle. Well, who would he be watching? That's just what we've been asking ourselves. <laughs> Who do we know of suspicious nature? Who is the round here who's up to something he shouldn't be? Like being with somebody he shouldn't be. <laughs> Who do we know that keeps sneaking off? Who goes about with his cap pulled down for unlawful purposes? Mother always said, never talk to people with cap pulled down for unlawful purposes. Especially during whole fair week. Who do we know, we asked, whose loving wife whose loving, neglected wife may finally have been forced to employ someone to investigate the activities of a husband who keeps disappearing. Well, I'm sure I don't know why everybody's looking at me. Not to worry, Howard. We'll take you back round the back and you can sneak out that way. I wouldn't say sneak. It's just that I've got this appointment to get to with my financial advisor. Leave it to Truly. How long has Norman Clegg been keeping a diary? Oh, forever. He likes remembering. Whereas mine, for instance, wishes everybody would forget. <laughs> There'd be a few having to pack in a hurry if I started writing mine. <laughs> How far back do his diaries go? Why? What have you got to hide? I've got nothing to hide. Not lately. But some people had a very interesting Second World War. Oh, that sounds interesting. I wonder if Mr Clegg wants somebody to do his typing. I was too busy in the war. I was making ammunition. And you've been firing it ever since. <laughs> you were too busy for that American airman. Oh, what's this, then? He used to come to my mother's for Sunday dinner. He'd become addicted to Yorkshire gravy. Well, that's one I never thought of. Maybe. You went to that dance with him? We were all at that dance. How come I was with him any more than you were? Oh, Mrs Batty, you were nearly a GI bride. I wasn't nearly anything. I never even came close to nearly. I came close. More than once. <laughs> they were dangerous times. Have a cake. Oh. <laughs> Nora, you first. <laughs> Who do you think it was that was watching you? I truly thought he looked like some private investigator. Oh, Howard, we're going to be on the front page of all the newspapers. <laughs> you thought what will happen if we're on the front page? I shall need a new outfit. <laughs> you can't be on the front page in any old thing. 
Mr. Teasdale, the window's open and the keys are in the ignition. You see how easy it is? Now, a repo man has to relax, Barry. You can't afford to look suspicious. When we meet, we'll shake hands perfectly naturally, and I'll get into the car and drive away. to a transfer to Huddersfield. Friendly. I just wish the public were more friendly. People these days are less friendly towards the police. Maybe arresting them kind of puts a chill on the relationship. <laughs> arresting them's not personal. There's no need for people to sulk. <laughs> you knows how to sulk. It looked suicidal to me. Do you think we ought to interfere? Would you rather wait till he's dead? No. <laughs> I hate it when they're dead. Hermione! <laughs> well, you wanted friendly. from Denby Street. Venables. Took to drink. I thought that was you. <laughs> Didn't we go to his funeral? He's still alive. Oh, well, we probably didn't then. <laughs> that was another Venables. A dead one. <laughs> you think some people know the difference? only encourages him. I've never seen anybody with a firmer hold on stupidity. <laughs> Why do they settle here? Why don't they go and annoy Australia? <laughs> They'd never find Australia. <laughs> To think not. I bought all that perfume. <laughs> I like to think not too. I spend a lot of time liking to think not. Oh, it looks dead enough there. They say he's searching mm. for something. I know the feeling. He needs the attentions of a good woman. A bad one might be quicker. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha! 
Back and you've gone. How do you do it? Have we got a secret passage? <laughs> so, don't disturb him. But it's peculiar. You think he's peculiar? <laughs> oh, come away, peeping in people's houses. Uh, suppose he needs help. Well, why should he need help? And if he did need help, do you think you'd be high on his wants list? I always do what I can. For other people. I know. Why do you think I keep confiscating your bicycle? <laughs> I'm a late. Has the show started? <laughs> do not disturb. Hm? Oh, I'm sorry if I'm disturbing you from looking in Cleggie's window. Not us, your muffin. We didn't hang it there. Cleggie must have put it there. I can't believe Cleggie's up to anything that requires a do not disturb sign. He's never been that athletic. <laughs> there is such a thing as second childhood. Shouldn't he have waited till he finished with the first? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're both looking at me. Don't lie. You do know why. To be fair, you can't expect him to admit it. That's one advantage of being a wife. Fair's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> Years in the vice squad have taught me there are very few things worth peeping at. <laughs> And that's one of them. <laughs> Not shaking your head. I dread being around when it starts to rattle. Your laundry's a depressing experience. I've never been faulted on my washing. It's not your technique, it's your taste. Have you got anything brighter? Have you nothing for lifting the spirits? I'm not here to lift your spirits. This stuff's chosen for serviceability, not entertainment. You're not kidding. Talk about bleak midwinter. Have you nothing more springtime? Why don't you get off inside? I'm not standing here discussing washing with an unmarried male. <laughs> we need to get a few pansies on that wall or something. We need a bit of colour around here. <laughs> Breaking. You're better at breaking out. <laughs> he could be lying there. You're the one who's usually lying. But only badly. <laughs> if he's had time to hang up a do not disturb sign, I regard that as evidence that he's not lying somewhere. Maybe he's planning to do away with himself. Who said that? Come on, who said that? <laughs> you can go home, starting rumours like that. Ah. Oh, let him stay. Hey, old Cleggy, what's they doing that mustn't be disturbed? <laughs> well, whatever it was, it doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> I bet if we hadn't come in and done away with himself. You were right, truly. Send him home. Uh, yep. That picks on me cos I'm French. That's not French. I didn't know that, neither. I could be French. <laughs> There's too much prejudice round here. You never did like Napoleon. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, although do it carefully because nobody likes a clever dick. <laughs> but is he looking more miserable than usual? Um... Yes. Yes, that's it, just yes. Are you going to enlarge on that? Chances are there'll be a simple explanation. Which would have to be. He's not ready for complicated. <laughs> Although, who would believe Smiler able to be more miserable than usual? 
He must keep a bit in reserve. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Correction. Quite a lot in reserve. <laughs> He's had a dear John letter. His lady friend's packed him in. He has a lady friend? Not anymore. <laughs> she found her glasses. You see? Simple explanation. How long have they been together? Since half past six last night. Oh, as long as that? I could have said it wouldn't last. They met by arrangement. He was wearing his best suit, hair neatly combed, and a red rose, so she'd recognise him. I'd leave man wearing red rose in hair. <laughs> buttonhole. You saw all this. You were there. He needs a minder for his love life. Well, he won't go on a date unless I'm there. I have to feed him his chatting up lines. Example. What's a gorgeous thing like you doing all alone? Such stuff works. It works. The only problem was she moved. He said it to a chap with a ginger moustache. <laughs> ah, Smiler now engaged to chap with ginger moustache. <laughs> he gets a dear John letter from a chap with a ginger moustache. No, we didn't meet her till we changed pubs. Good morning. Good morning. Hermione? Just as well they finished. He'd have had terrible trouble trying to spell her. <laughs> What's this? A confession? <laughs> you should have said. I used to help people write these. If it's ours, we ought to be reading it. Oh, I'm sure I've nothing to confess. Aren't you afraid of being struck down by a bolt of lightning? <laughs> no. 